I'm Hannah Kinsella, a reality TV star, social media personality, and a professional dentist. I'm also a mum of two and understand firsthand the challenges parents face when it comes to looking after their children's teeth. Tooth decay is currently one of the most common reasons for hospital admissions in the UK among children, and I'm on a mission to combat Britain's growing crisis. In 2019, over 45,000 children in the UK alone were admitted to hospital for dental extractions. The lack of care and understanding surrounding young teeth has caused these figures to rise drastically and more and more children are suffering every year. Today, I'm completing a checkup on two four-year-old twins who are both regular patients of mine at the practice. Hello, hi guys. Oh, it's nice to see you. I feel like I've not seen you for a while. Right guys, who's going first? Me! Oh, yeah. Right, you're gonna pop yourself on the big chair for me. My goodness, Ruby, look at that pretty skirt. <gasps> You look amazing. I absolutely love treating young kids. I, I love it, I love it. I've always loved treating children. Um, it can be challenging. Um, you know, sometimes they're not that compliant. Sometimes they're screaming, crying, especially if they need treatment. You know, if you're doing a filling or if you're taking a tooth out, it can be quite a traumatic, scary experience for them. I think, to be honest, I think I've always been quite good with kids. But I think since having my two children, it's definitely made me much more you know, child friendly, you know, because obviously I speak to the, I speak to my own kids and I know now what, what their needs and wants and you know, what they like. So I've, I guess I can relate to kids more now that I have my own. Right, so this is my big light. I'm going to shine it on you. And we could, all I need you to do is go, ah, big white stretch for me, okay? Gosh, they're so white and shiny. Oh, I can tell you've been brushing these, Ruby. Right, mum and dad, everything is looking really good. Her gums are all looking nice and pink as well, so it means that she's brushing, the brushing is good. Um, so obviously at Ruby's age now, um, still a bit of assisted brushing. Just go in with the toothbrush afterwards, just make sure, but everything's looking super healthy. All the soft tissue's fine, gums are looking healthy, there's no areas of inflammation or redness, so it means that she's cleaning well, which is great. I think it's really important that parents are educated on dental health, oral health. Um, the more education we can give parents, the better it is for the children and it makes it easier for the parents to actually look after the ki their kids' teeth. Um, and if we are committed in trying to reduce the amount of decay um, and extractions in children, then it all boils down to education. The more that people know, the more that people understand, the less likely it is that it's gonna happen. Arthur's got, um, or he always has had like a clouding in one of the teeth at the back. Okay. We've been monitors and no pain or anything. I'll have a look, I'll have a look. I think you'll be getting a visit from the tooth fairy very soon. <laughs> So on Arthur's second baby molars, there's, he's got something called hyperplasia of his enamel. It's basically where the enamel doesn't form quite as it should. Enamel hyperplasia is a condition that affects the formation of enamel on the teeth. It's fairly common in young children and can be caused by nutritional deficiencies during the early stages of tooth formation, alongside genetics and other environmental factors. Um, but they look fine, the, especially the one on the top left hand side is probably affected more than the others. So we just need to keep a very close eye if, they, if it does become, you know, uh, if it does start forming decay and it might need a little filling in it. But he's got quite, he's got a couple of wobbly teeth at the front, so those are literally not long left now before they pop Nothing out. Nothing to worry about with them, they just... They were, uh, yeah, and a lot of parents worry about the position of them. It's normal that they come out in a, in, in, in sort of like a, 
um, displaced. Yeah, and okay. and as, as he grows and as the uh, teeth come through, they will move forward. Look at that. Well done. I think you were swapped for the glasses. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. It's got a good, nice. good sticker selection yeah. there, haven't we? Yes. Well done, guys. Well done. Say thank, thank, thank you. Oh, bye. bye. Take care, guys. Well See you. We recommend from six months old to bring your child to the dentist. Um, around five, six months, they'll be getting their first little baby teeth through. And it's really important that children come to the dentist and get familiarized with the surroundings. If you, as a parent, have got a dental phobia, try not to show that to the child because, again, they will pick up on how you're feeling and um, children, again, often mimic their, their parents. So, you know, if even if you do have that fear, try not to talk about it in front of the child or try not to say it to the child um, and just always, you know, keep it positive and then they will have a positive experience with the dentist. <laughs> all right, come. <laughs> so do I have to do the whole hi? Welcome back to. Yeah. Okay. What did we do on the last one? What did we do on the last one? Do I not need like a witch's hat on or something? Uh, you would, it's in the background, so I think it's, it should be okay. Unless you want to wear it. <laughs> do you think it'd be better wearing it? Will it? Today I'm filming content for my new YouTube channel for kids. The channel is focused on educating children about oral hygiene and stems off the back of my app, Cubby Buddy, which encourages children to brush and care for their teeth. So if we start off doing about the, are oh, you feeling confident after coming after back to the time. dentist? Yeah, you first um, and then we'll do a little bit where you guys talk a little bit about plaque in the yeah. most basic way. Okay. Um, I think filming content for kids is definitely more fun. Um, and draining, I guess, because <laughs> you've got to be so like, hi kids, and you know, upbeat and energetic. So it's actually quite exhausting. Me and Tyler, every time we do like, you know, if we do a shoot for YouTube or we do like some TikTok content for kids, at the end of the day, we're both drained because we've been smiling and waving and, you know, so it's more, it's definitely more draining, but it is fun, it is fun. So could this be like a come with us to find out, to see different parts of the dental practice or to, yeah. Yeah, the, the way I put it on my phone was kind of just like a, kind of just like a game. This is like finding the different items and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, it's just like come along to, to find items that we use here at our dentist or something like that, uh, okay. along with Cubby. I just need to grab my phone, it has a bit more information on it. I don't, um, I think this one's a bit weak. Like, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? What are we finding here? I don't know, what we're saying like different things that are... I think it's interactive. Okay. I'm really protective when it comes to my brands because I feel like they're my babies. I am a, a perfectionist to another level. Like every single li little detail will get turned upside down. But to be honest with you, I think attention to detail is what makes, you know, what makes a brand stand out and I think at the end of the day, if, if I wasn't such a perfectionist when it comes to things like that, then it, they probably wouldn't be where they are. I don't know, I just don't know how this is like making any sense. Um, okay, we could just say here, we could just say there's lots of different, mm, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense at all. Can you spot the toothbrush that's in front of you? No, I don't know. <laughs> right, right, we've Why all, don't no, we no, could... forget this, because I think this is weird. I, I, yeah, it's confusing. I think we should do, right, we walked in and I, I, to be honest, I think it should be what a kid would see when they come to a dentist. So they walk into the practice, the first thing they see is a receptionist. She makes the appointments and she'll tell you when the dentist is ready for you to... Because, because when you cut back, so in a waiting room, there won't be just like a toothbrush out there. It's not where you'd find it. Yeah. It was it, it was kind of more of like a like a hide and seek thing anyway. We're just kind of just in random spots. I get where you're to, from. Okay. Just need to well, what it. about we? Okay. Well, what if, what if we do like? Can anyone spot where the toothbrush is? Yeah, that's what I think. Handling items. Yeah. 
That's better. That makes so sense. So should we start the beginning again? We actually had a, a big think about this in terms of the content that we're going to be putting out there on YouTube. YouTube is a huge platform for kids. You know, there's so many, you know, there's like the, the likes of Blippi and Baby Shark and, you know, Miss Rachel. And there's so many different, you know, channels that kids do watch. And we just felt that if we were able to get capture the hearts and the imaginations of the kids through the character cubby um you know and in not only just do dental advice and education but also do things like bedtime stories or cubby goes to the zoo and has a look at the animals teeth and that kind of thing then it would be more engaging um and you know it'd be something that the kids would want to watch uh, rather than it just being targeted at mums and dads Hi, Hi everyone. everyone! I'm Dr. Hannah. And I'm Nurse Tyler. And today we are at the dental practice with... Cubby! How are you Cubby? When it comes to content, I think the key to keeping kids engaged is simplicity. Like not making things too over complicated. Like kids respond really well to like, you know, because we've got Cubby the puppet and I think kids respond really well to that kind of, you know, visual stimulus. And then, um, you know, it, it's just about sort of keep it, keeping it, keeping it entertaining as well as educational, I think is really, really key. Yeah. Holiday, holiday yeah. okay. I'm really passionate about kids' oral health and trying to improve oral health in children across the country. Doing a hospital placement and seeing, you know, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, sometimes two-year-olds come in for full clearances, four or five teeth extracted under general anaesthetic. And this is a preventable disease. Um, I think when I became a mum myself, it almost really cemented that for me and I thought, I've got to do something about this. We've got to change this. It's preventable and there's no reason why children should be losing their teeth so early. In the UK, nearly one third of children have decayed teeth by the time they're just five years old. To reduce the chance of decay, it's vital that parents take their children to the dentist regularly. Today, I'm taking my son Max for a checkup. Is that the dentist? Yeah, this is the dentist. Max is just two years old and, like many kids, doesn't love visiting the dentist, which is why it's important that he gets familiar with the environment. So I've got Max with me today. Hi, Max. This is little Maxie. How are you? You've met Jen before. You have? You're fine? Yeah. I like your car. Yeah, he's brought oh, a you car show with me? him. <gasps> wow. wow. Look at that car. Oh my goodness. Tell what kind of car, tell Jen what kind of car it is. I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> what kind of car is it? Yeah, it's a Mercedes oh. AMG. Very posh. Very posh. Wow. You like cars, don't you? What's your favourite? What's this your favourite one? one? It's that one, isn't it? Yeah. This one. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Good choice. Good choice. Right, Maxie, we're going to sit and have our teeth looked at. Yes. Are we going to count your teeth today? Yeah? Yes, we yeah. are. I'm going to count them and see how many you've got. How many do you think you have? How many teeth do you think you have? How many? Two? I don't know. Should we count them and see? Let's count them. Come right, on, you come on, take a seat on the magical us. chair. Whoa. There we go, Maxie. So good. There we go. That's it. Right, and then the magical chair, Max. Look, 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 the magical chair goes backwards. Ready? Oh. Ready? Ooh. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> right, go on, put your head back there for, for Jen. Head back, Maxie. Max, can you lie your head back and we'll count your teeth? See how many teeth yeah. we've got? Yeah. Yeah. Should Mummy do it? Should, should, we, should Jen do it on Mummy first? Yeah, we'll count Mummy's teeth first. Yeah? And then we'll count yours. Right, let's count my count. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can wow. see. She's got more. So <laughs> should we count yours? Should we count yours now? Yeah. And then Kiara's got you some stickers. 
Oh, wow, Max Full loves stickers. stickers. Should we count them and then we can have the stickers? Yes. Yeah? Right. Let's have a <laughs> look. Yeah, cool, Let's have a look. <laughs> look at that mop of hair. Right, lie back, baby. Do you want to sit on Mummy's lap? Yeah. 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 sit on Mummy's lap? Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay, sit on Mummy's lap. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> to be my kid that doesn't want his DJ. Oh, right, let's lie back with Mummy. Let's, let's lie back. Let's have a look. I feel like, as a dentist, I'm probably one of those mums that's sort of very cautious and aware. I wouldn't say I'm like crazy strict, but um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm quite cautious with snacking. So I will always have in the house breadsticks, cheese, those um, veg, veggie sticks. It was really funny this one time we went to a kid's party. It was the first time Max had ever had sweets and my friend was like, you never give him this child sweets. He's like, going crazy. Oh, bless him. Um, but no, listen, everything in moderation. Um, but I think with snacking and with drinks, it's important to keep an eye on what they're having. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, oh, Kiara, we've got E, D, C, B, A. A, B, C, D, E on the top and on the bottom we've got E, D, C, B, A, A, B, C, D, E. How did they look alright? Absolutely fine. fine. Yeah, yeah, there's a little chip in that front Yeah, one. I know there is. I don't know how you've done that. Bless you. It, but it looks fine though, as long as it stays like that. Yeah, then we're yeah. Good. I don't know how he did it. I think he did it when he was really small. Like, maybe on a toy or something. Yeah, no, it's, it's really, you know, it's common with the, because these, they will have been one of the first ones we've got. Superhero. Who's that one? I don't know. You don't know? Iron Man. Yes. Oh, that's Flash, sorry. It's Flash. Oh. That's Flash. <laughs> no, that's Flash. Is that Flash? Well done, Max. Maxi, well done. And you've got 20 teeth. 20 teeth, Maxie. I want to go home now. <laughs> Now. Do you like being at the dentist? Oh, yeah. You yeah. did? I want a lollipop. Oh! <laughs> oh he got a nice try. You can't have a lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> Is he brushing them well, Jen? Yeah, they look really, really clean. Good. Really good. Do you like brushing your teeth? Yeah. How do you do it? How do you brush them? Yes. Like, oh. What is he like brushing them? Yeah, he's yeah. obsessed with my app. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not just dropping that. I'm just genuinely. Yeah. You brush with Cubby, don't you? Cubby. Cubby Buddy is an app that's designed to make toothbrushing fun, engaging, and educational. And the whole concept of it was that Cubby, which is the polar bear character, through the day, his health starts to diminish and he starts to get toothache. So the only way that you can charge his health bar up is by brushing your teeth. I think what we've got right with it is that the actual br tooth brushing sequence is really fun and engaging. I've always struggled brushing Max's teeth. Um, he screams, he cries, he throws the toothbrush on the floor. There was just no way that I was getting him to brush his teeth. Um, obviously, uh, since having the app, he absolutely loves it, brushes away to the song, does it for two minutes. He actually really enjoys it now. You're good with brushing your teeth, aren't you, bud? Right, he's off. Have a lovely rest of your day. Yes, I will, I will. And Take we'll care, I'll see my you love. next time. Yes, I'll bring Kimmy next time. Perfect. Bring Kimmy next time. <laughs> see, right, you later. see you later. Bye. Bye. We have a really exciting day today. We are going into a school to do our first Icy Bear Dental Cubs workshop. It's exciting. As part of my mission to combat tooth decay in children, I wanted to visit a preschool class to learn more about what they know about looking after their teeth. This was like the best year of school, wasn't it? This, honestly, this was like primary school, school was school. the absolute best. This visit also provides me with an opportunity to teach children about oral hygiene and to help educate them on why looking after their teeth is so important. We're all gonna sit on the carpet and then we've got a couple of activities 
where um, we'll get them to sit on the tables. Right, okay. So we'll put, what we'll do is we'll put the teeth and the brushes on the table set up yeah. and the gloves and the masks also um, Tyler will set up as well. Yeah, What's yeah. your name? It's Claire. Claire. Miss Oscar. Right? Okay, got yeah. <laughs> Miss Oscar. Claire, Miss Oscar, got ya. Hiya. Hi, Hi. Oh, oh, Claire. Yeah. Lovely to meet yeah, you. Lovely you to okay? Meet you. Yeah, I am. Thank you. Yes, How we're on? yeah, we're good. We're just setting up a few bits and pieces, Brilliant. but we're excited. I think yes. I think they're going to really enjoy oh, it. Good. So what's the plan for this? So we've got um, we've got like a bit of a story okay. presentation type thing where we're, they're all going to be sat on the carpet. And then we've got a couple of activities where we're going to split them into onto the tables and get them doing something um, oh, with the teeth and stuff. When we were coming up with the concepts for the workshop, we were sort of thinking that we need to do something that keeps them actively engaged because talking to a class of three to five year olds i mean you know their attention span isn't that long so you want to try and you know give them that educational content but at the same time keep it fun interactive and engaging so we came up with the with the idea that we tell a story so myself and tyler with cubby we tell a story about uh, Cubby's adventure to see the dentist and obviously on the way he meets these characters Winnie the walrus who's got plaque all over her tusks and the Yeti who's actually really frightened of visiting the dentist so we tell them this story and then in between we have a couple of breakout points where they do activities hi everyone hi guys Hello. so hi good morning I'm Dr. Hannah, I'm a dentist. Cubby's literally come, boys and girls, all the way from the North Pole this morning. And he's come to teach us all about our teeth and brushing our teeth. Have any of you boys and girls been to the dentist before? Yeah. Have you? Oh, yes. I haven't. You've not? Oh. I have. You have, you have. Brilliant, amazing. So let's tell you, let's tell you all about when Cubby went to the dentist. Oh, yeah. Right, so, in a far off land where the icicles glow, lives a little bear called Cubby with teeth white as snow. One morning, Cubby wakes up and he's super excited. He's off to see the dentist who's sure to be delighted. This is Cubby's lunchbox, boys and girls, and you're going to help us decide what he's going to take with him on his adventure to see the dentist. The first snack, boys and girls. Should Cubby take this or should Cubby not take this? Chocolate bar. Ooh. Mars bar. No. Thumbs down. Well done, everyone. A packet of crisps. Ooh, this is, a is, this, one. is this a good snack or a bad snack, boys and girls? Snack on this one. Do you know what? It's actually a good snack for your teeth. It does. It's not going to rock Cubby's teeth. This. Oh, so it's so good. It was a trick question. It was a trick question. Let's pop that one in. I think it is important to directly communicate with children. When you're speaking to the child, it's instilling those things in them. Raisins. Ooh. I think snacks are a really interesting one because I think a lot of parents think things like raisins are a healthy treat. Children, they allow food to sit in between their teeth a lot more than adults do. So obviously if we were to get something stuck between our teeth, it would really bug us and we'd be like trying to fish it out. Whereas kids are not really like that. They're not as sensitive. So you find that bits of food can sit in between the teeth for a lot longer. It sits there and then it can cause decay. So what we're gonna do, boys and girls, is we're gonna split you up into three groups. And when you go around the table, you're all gonna have a toothbrush that you're gonna dip in the water and you're gonna clean the bugs off Winnie the Walrus's teeth, okay? And remember guys, we've only got two minutes to get rid of all the bugs. So should we get everyone around the tables? Yeah. There we go. Start your brush on the top right side. Scrub in circles so the bugs can't hide. There's three sides we need to brush. Oh, you're doing amazing on this table. Zap the bugs, brush that back. Shine those teeth from front to back. Brush it like they're snow, make them glow. Did you see on those models how you have got bugs on the outside, bugs on the biting side and on the inside? So when we're brushing, we've got to make sure that we give them all a really good scrub for two minutes. Nice. Shara's going to come round and pass you all a pair of gloves and a mask that you can put on. 
and we can all dress up as dentists. Oh. Oy, there we go. <laughs> They're really hard to get on. <laughs> I mean, I struggle to get my gloves on. They're a bit tricky, aren't they? They're a bit tricky. Well done, everyone. So does everyone want a sticker? Right, are we ready? Well done, guys. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. That went well. I think that went well. Obviously, yeah, it was our first time doing it. But it was funny because, like, when I gave them the gloves, they were all like, <laughs> it was really. I was like, I really struggled putting I was, gloves yeah, on. Never mind, kids. And it's, it was fun though. It was nice to see them interact. Yeah, yeah. It was interesting to know how much they knew as already as well that they. Yeah. I like the fact they knew how long to brush for yeah. and... Because this is reception, isn't yes. it? Key stage one. So even going into nurseries, which are slightly younger... It's nice to know that they good. do know as well. Yeah. And as well, like, some of them hadn't been to the dentist, some of them had. Yeah. It's interesting to see the numbers who, who haven't been to the dentist yet. Yeah. So that was interesting. Yeah. Bye, everyone! <laughs> oh, I can breathe, I can breathe. I, I feel like I am on this mission to improve oral health in children globally, not even just the UK. I think that dental decay is a preventable disease and it shouldn't be happening. Like, you know, we, we, we're all educated enough and we, we, we're all at this point in humanity where we shouldn't have this problem. Seeing kids firsthand, having to have injections, having to have multiple teeth extracted, it's never a nice experience for kids. And if we can prevent that, if we can reduce the amount of children that have to go through that, then listen, I'm here for it. <laughs> and I feel like that's my mission and calling in life. <laughs> that's what I wanna do, that's what I wanna do. And that's what it's all about. So the, the, the app, the YouTube, the school workshops. It's to create a movement really and to combat dental decay in kids. For more information surrounding children's oral hygiene, including professional recommendations and advice, visit www.nhs.uk.